What is going on everyone? My name is as you know Martin Nobel and today we're going to be looking at the Macintosh 128K, specifically a floppy disk called a guided tour of the Macintosh. So we're going to open the guided tour disk right now. Welcome to Macintosh. Now it's simply the reason why they made this is simply because most people don't even know how to use a Mac desktop back in the days let alone a keyboard and mouse. So let's look at mousing around first. So the pointer is controlled by the mouse attached to your Macintosh. This was the year 1984 when mouses were a new thing just like iPhones were a new thing in 2007. After it shows you the basics about how to use the mouse it teaches you how to use it. So like, you just try and move the mouse yourself to make the star. And then it gives you a piano so you can point and click. So let's play something. Pirates of the Caribbean. And then you, got, you could actually emulate the free beeps. done here. Then it teaches you to point and hold. So we're going to do that right now. And then when you hold you'll be able to see everything that comes out of the magician's hat. And then it teaches you how to drag so you just click and hold. Then it puts it to the test by doing this maze. Although this is not the only maze that you get in this version of Mac OS. We're not playing again. Double click. Look at all this money. And we're going to wrap it up. Continue. Now on the tour screen. Now it did come with a cassette tape as well, which you would play if you want to do the first five. So in fact, let's actually modify it and let's do show me my electronic desk. It's supposed to say abnormal situation. Don't know why. And instead of having the person talk, I'm going to talk instead. So as you can see, we have the desktop. We have two floppies, one of them is guided tour, which is, believe it or not, a copy of System 0.8.5 introduced in 1983, while the Macintosh was still in development. On the left hand side, you have the old new menu panes and if if it's anything this this desktop is very similar in design to the OS 10 desktop we have today in Al Capitan so it just takes so right now the cursor is taking us through which it, what each of them does so now it's clicking on view so you can view your windows via icons name dates size or kinds you could there's a reason why I hate rain <laughs> but anyways we're gonna click on guided tour and see what's on there and we're gonna do that by going into file and pressing open Oh wait, we're not. <laughs> we're going to go and print, if that's the case. 
I mean, printers did exist back then, and they did for the Macintosh. The reason now we finally opened it, let's see what we have here. We got Save Desktop, an application called Amazing. And it is a play on words because it's actually a maze game. And then we close it. And then I think the last thing that the cassette tells you is that it's going to go back into training. Oh, wait. Just open file. And it's going to. We're going to look at all the apps here. So we got the empty folder, you got the finder. Now, this is indeed a 400 kilobyte disk as it says 76k left 76k available we're going to drag the finder over there and we're also going to drag the example document and then we're going to click on the empty folder I think yep Nothing in the folder, 0k. So then we close that. I don't know why, but the cassette does it that way. When the more common way would be just closing it via the window pane. Now we're going to be selecting all, all three of these documents. and dragging them to this side and dragging them back. We've got the example document. And I am patient enough for the cassette to do it. Now we're gonna go into training and go back to the main screen. Yep, and thus we quit this version. So we're going to quit the finder of show me my electronic desk. Now we're back to the main screen. We're not going to do any of that because I don't have that much time. Let's look at let me use my Macintosh. Now we're back in the finder. Now let's actually try it out for ourselves. We got the unknown disk, nothing in there. You got the trash, nothing's also in there. Let's actually drag example in. And it doesn't show that the trash is full or not. But you can empty it. Finder is deleting what you put in the trash. No more exam example. About the finder, finder 1.0, December 83. You got the calculator, A plus 8, E. That didn't work. You got Oh, freaking hell. Well, I'm going to say right now, apologies to what just happened. We got the Mac system software. We're now back in the main in screen. So we got the guide tour. Let me use my Macintosh. About the finder, finder 1.0. The keyboard does not work and when I opened keycaps it literally messed up the whole system. So we got the clock. Let's look at the puzzle. It's just numbers. Nothing great here. Notepad. What's the point? You can't even type anything. We got scrapbook. This space for rent. And the glorious control panel which was used in further versions of the Mac OS, we're gonna actually paint this all black. And this is what we get. We're gonna change it to this background and we're gonna change it back to fully black again. And we're gonna leave it that way. You can also modify the sound. 
and you could also modify certain aspects of the system as well. Now, the last thing we're going to look at is the app called Amazing. We got all those sessions, by the way, which are programs in its own. Let's look at Amazing, the maze. This is literally the only game that they put it put in the guided tour and it's actually part of the guided tour program as well. So that's a little bonus there. This does this actually does work on newer versions of the of system 7 and above, but it does not work on colored compute colored Macintoshes. I'm sorry to say that. But otherwise, it's a good black and white game. Not going to deny that. And believe it or not, this this maze on its own, it's really easy if you get the hang of it. You got the penguin. Yay, you've done it. And we can have a new one. This is even easier. Or you can get it harder. And you can modify your skill. So you could have a maze like this. And there is no way. It's so small actually, so... This is how hard, this is how difficult mazes could actually be. So that is the maze game. You can also print if you want. You can get the answer if you, you don't know where to go. That's meant to be cheating, but still. And then we're finally gonna go back to the main guided tour page and we're actually done here. So this is the demo of system 0.85, also known as the guided tour of Macintosh. If you have any questions, please leave it below. My name is Martin Nobel, and I am ready to stop. Thank you all for watching, and see you all later.